Gamer's video, video, video game sophistry. Your one-stop shop for video games, news, reviews. Oh my god, I just ran in. And time-wasting fun. The culmination of the magic space opera known as Mass Effect 3 has already been experienced by most, but now it's heading to the Wii U. And today we're talking to Melanie Faulkner from BioWare on what to expect. Hi Melanie, thank you for taking the time to talk. No problem. So first up, right off the bat, when players get their hands on Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U, what can they expect? They can expect the Mass Effect 3 single player and multiplayer experience with enhanced features and bonus content, including a Wii U exclusive weapon. Really? Now, what do you think are some of the biggest differences from a brand new out-of-the-box version of Mass Effect 3, which you can get in Xbox or uh, PlayStation 3, versus a player that opens that brand new out-of-the-box Wii U version of the game? So on top of the enhanced features and exclusive weapon, we do also have the Dark Horse Interactive Backstory comic, mm -hmm. Genesis 2. And this is DLC that nobody has yet seen. Wii U players will be the first to experience this. And it's a backstory comic, so it gives you the story of Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 if you aren't familiar with it. And as you're going through it, because it's interactive, you can make story choices that you would have made in the previous two games. And at the end, you've created a save game that you can then import mm -hmm. into Mass Effect 3 Wii U, and it will open up new storylines for you. So it's good for the player who's never experienced it. They can get the summary of the two stories and have this whole new experience. Or for players who have already played through, it will open up storylines they may not have experienced in their first playthrough. Very, very cool. Now, specific to the, um, the comic book in general, the uh, comic book that you have that gives the backstory, we haven't seen the Mass Effect uh, 2 version of that one. Is there? Because I really like in the first one that the comic had choices in it that you really wouldn't uh, expect. They, weren't, they were, of course, the big choices within the game, but little ones too, little nuanced choices that perhaps a lot of players didn't experience. Can we look forward to that sort of attention to de detail in this particular DLC? Yeah, I don't want to give away any Certainly, spoilers, yeah. <laughs> but it is, uh, it is along the same line, and it, it does start off with the original Genesis, mm -hmm. and then it's got an extended part covering Mass Effect 2, so you'll get the both, best of both worlds. All right, now how has Mass Effect 3 really utilized a lot of the new features that the Wii U has to offer? So that was one really fun thing that we got to play with because it's got to touch screen mm -hmm. functionality and that's something that we've never developed for before. So we got to play around a lot with that and we've got the level maps on the game pad so you are able to navigate through the levels without ever having to pause the game. Oh, wow. And you got with the touch screen you can control your squad mates. We've also got customizable buttons on the side that allow you to customize your gameplay a little more than with a standard controller. And the big one that everybody loves if they have to share a TV is you can switch to gamepad only mode so you can play exclusively on the gamepad, the entire single player multiplayer experience. Wow, so that is very much a handheld Mass Effect that we haven't seen before sort of thing. Yeah, and it looks awesome on the small screen. It still looks really good when you, you transfer it there. There's no, you know, no tearing. It still it holds up that high fidelity look. Yeah, absolutely. Now when anyone is porting a loved game into a new console, there's always a concern of maintaining that original experience. What have you done to make sure that Mass Effect still feels like Mass Effect, but has those new and innovative uh, advantages that a Wii U has to offer? That was We were really careful about that because we're really happy with the game that we originally launched. So we didn't want to mess with what we already had, and that's why we were careful to only add features that were going to enhance gameplay. And so if you want the classic experience, you can play on the Pro Controller. We support that as well. But if you do want to play with the gamepad, it will only bring out features that enhance gameplay. So things like the level maps, instead of having to pause the game and go through menus, you can now just look down and you've got it all right there. Mm -hmm. Now there is, in this particular uh, version, the choice to include all the DLC that was uh, previously available for Mass Effect 3 specifically the extended cut DLC. Considering the controversy, what really brought you the choice to incorporate all of these uh, different DLCs? It was really important for us to include the DLC, especially extended cut. We were really happy with the way the community received extended cut. And because it was offered as free DLC when we released it, we wanted to make sure that one was on disc. And including things like our day one DLC from Ashes and, of course, Genesis 2 on there, we just wanted to give Wii U players a well-rounded Mass Effect 3 experience. Now, talking of DLC, I know it's something I haven't mentioned before, but can we expect a similar sort of uh, development cycle for DLC on the Wii U 
as what's coming down the barrel for um, the the original versions on Xbox and PS3. For now, because we were a launch day game and there's a lot of effort yeah, yeah. involved in dubbing for launch, we've only been concentrating on the special edition right now and making launch day. And once that is out the door, then we will start concentrating on the future. Okay, so it's not it's not an absolute it's going to be this way, but it's by no means, uh, no, we're not going to have the DLC. Exactly. It's something that we'll, we'll look at in the future once we're out. Now, lastly, for Nintendo fans who want to see more of the Mass Effect that they love, that perhaps they haven't had the experience to really appreciate, now on their favorite consoles, what do you say to these new fans that are coming in? Well, we are so excited to bring it to Nintendo for the first time. It's the first time the franchise has been on the console, so we can't wait to see the gamer experience and if they love the game as much as we do. And let us know. Let us know how much you love it. <laughs> there you go. And then finally, when can we get our hands on the Wii U version of Mass Effect 3? We will be out on console launch day, so that's November 18th. November 18th. Not that far away. Thank you very much, Melanie, for taking the time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for having me. So there you go. Make sure you pick it up November 18th with the Wii U version of Mass Effect 3. We're going to be using the gamepad. They're going to have all the DLC that they already had beforehand. And you can experience those amazingly done comics that you haven't played before. I'm Andy Burkowski for Video Game Sophistry.